All right, so to start our shirt, or sweatshirt rather, uh, we are going to start by making a text <clears throat> box. So um, the text I'm going to write, it's gonna say home body. I saw this somewhere and I saw it on a sweatshirt similar to the one that I'm going to use and I was like, this is not only so me, <laughs> but I just loved it. I thought it was like super simple and I just, I got inspired and I wanted to make my own. So it's going to say home body. So that's basically it. So we've made our text box. We've typed in our uh, text. And so now I'm just going to come up here and find the font that I want to use. So I want something that's kind of like... A bold um, font so I'm just gonna let's see what this looks like no so this might take some time but basically I just want something that's like bold and very simple Okay, so this is the font I'm going to use, and that's pretty much what I was hoping to use. Uh, like this, I knew this font impact would, you know, be perfect, but I wanted to see if there's anything else. But this is what I'm going to do. So now I want to curve my text. So I'll make it big so you guys can see what I'm doing. But basically, we are going to click on this curve text. And now we can just kind of play with it like so. So I don't want it like so aggressively like, you know, crazy curved, but just a little bit. So I think that looks cute. All right, so I like how that looks. So now I just really need to size this. So I think I haven't measured my sweatshirt, but I'm guessing I'll need about 10 inches, maybe like nine and a half or so. I don't want it to be so huge on the sweatshirt. I just want it kind of relatively, um, you know, not gigantic, but not like teeny tiny. So, you know, very descriptive. Uh, so I think this looks pretty good here. So basically that's all we need to do. So we can come over here and click make it. <clears throat> and so since we are using HTV for this, we want to make sure we mirror our image. So the reason is, is because when we mirror the image, the text is actually going to be cut out of the bonded part of the HTV. So the part that's actually going to be put onto the shirt, you know, stuck to the shirt. And so to do, to achieve that, we flip it over when we're ready to press. So it's not making a whole lot of sense when I explain it, but I will show you step by step. It is super easy. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. So we can come over here and click continue. So it's going to find our machine. And once it finds our machine, we will select our settings. So we're going to be cutting this on the just regular iron on setting. And so once it finds our machine, um, I'll switch you guys over to the camera and you guys can see how we're going to cut this. All right, so to measure my shirt, because I don't typically measure, like, I usually just, like, get everything done, measure it, and then I start filming. But um, people do not like that. They want to see how I measure. And I'm just going to preface it with this is not scientific. This is not the only way to measure. This is just how I do it. If you are like selling um, your stuff and you want it to be, you know, super perfect, um, I don't know if this is the way, the method for you, but this is for just like a super beginner DIY hobby person. So 
<laughs> okay, so basically, this is the sweatshirt I'm going to be using. It's a really old sweatshirt that my dad gave me. And, or, well, actually, I probably stole it from him. So, I'm just going to start by figuring out, like, where I want this placed on my sweatshirt. So, I kind of want it to be, like, up here. This is, like, a big, oversized sweatshirt. Um, so, I kind of want it, like, up here. So, what I started with is, this is where I'm measuring from, right up here here so it's a little more than two feet completely laid flat so basically what I did is I just took a piece of chalk and I just kind of marked roughly where the middle is now I want to figure out like how long do I or how yeah why do I want the text to be so I think about 15 inches and it's gonna curve so it's gonna kind of come like that so maybe a little bit lower lower and then it can come like like that so I think that's good that's just how I measure so um, this is like the starting point and then this is the middle about and then this will be hopefully where it'll end or so all right so that's how we measure so now I'm gonna move this and then we can start to get everything ready to cut and then press. All right, so our heat press is heating up and I am going to be using some HTV, just plain black. This is a gigantic roll of um, Oracle that I don't even know where I got this from. I think I got this from a local vendor that just happens to sell HTV and I don't I don't remember how I found them but anyways okay so I'm just trying to figure out how much I'm gonna need here. P press is ready to go. So I'm just measuring this. All right, so then, so I need about 15 by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna cut this. gigantic roll out of the way. Alright, so now there's two sides to HTV. There is this shiny side and then there's this like matte side. The shiny side is actually your carrier sheet. So you want to cut it with the shiny side down and also making sure that your cut settings in design space are you have mirrored your text so it's going to basically cut out backwards from here and then when we're done we flip it over and that's how we press it so i'm putting this with the shiny side down Scraping it down, and now we can pull out our machine. All right, so I'm putting in my regular blade. So I had my deep cut one in there, so make sure you have your regular blade in. Settings are set to iron on. Our cut settings are set to iron on. So when that is flashing, that means you can load your mat. We'll wait for our Cricut light to flash. And now we'll cut. Make sure your mat has enough room to go back and forth. 
take my HTV off the mat. All right, so now we are going to weed the HTV. So basically what all weeding is, is, oh my gosh, I thought for a second I didn't mirror this. And it's because a lot of the let, oh no, it's because it was the other way. Anyway, okay, so weeding is basically just getting rid of, I'm going to bring it down a little, so it's getting rid of all of the space that we don't want to press. So if we were to be um, having like the negative space be the letter, so like you would actually see the sweatshirt through the letters, um, we would weed, weed out the letters, but for this, we're weeding out the negative space. So all you need to do is if you're using iron, I love using iron on, it's so easy, is I just peel up a corner. And if you're doing something like really intricate, sometimes this backfires, but since these letters are so big and chunky, um, this should work. I just pull away what I don't need, and then we'll go back and get all these like middles. So now I'm just going to go back and get all the little scrappy stuff that wasn't able to get pulled up, like all the middles of the letters you want to make sure you get rid of because once it is pressed, girl or boy, it is real difficult to get off. And a, so I've heard that there's like a little spray or something that you can um, like spray onto, onto, your, onto your thing. Um, if you've already pressed it, but I've never used it. So, all right. So we have our text ready to go onto our sweatshirt. So I'm going to get my sweatshirt and then we will press. Okay. So now for this part, um, all you need is your text. So we have our text right here. Sorry, I just hit the camera. It's ready to go. I really wish I would have had like white. I would have had white HTV for this, but that's okay. I I kept having to read that for a second and be like, I really hope I didn't write homeboy. Nope, homebody. Okay. So basically, now all we have to do is press it. So make sure your carrier sheet, since it's really sticky, it doesn't have any HTV scraps because, again, once it's pressed, it's going to be really difficult to get off. So... I'm just going to set this aside, and then I have a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to put over the um, HTV just to protect it and to protect the sweatshirt. So first things first, I'm just going to take my heat press and just warm. Sorry, this is the cord is like in the way. There we go. So I'm just like warming up my surface. And so this is my midpoint, so I'm just going to center it as best as I can. All right, and before I press it, I just want to see how I'm doing. So that's about six inches. Six. And... About five and a half, so I can move this this way. So that's like a little less than six. All right, that's good enough for me because this is just for me to like wear to the gym and when I'm lounging and stuff. Can you guys see this okay? Yes, I'm still here.
Okay, I think that's like a little bit better. So now we have this ready to go. So I'm just going to put my parchment over it. And I am going to press this for about, it's at 375. And I'll do about 15 seconds. And then we'll see how it is from there. So I'm going to set this down and just press and press the green button. And if you have an iron, definitely use an iron. So I'm just putting pressure on it. I'm not sliding this around. But yeah, you could totally do this with an iron. Oh, and I get this question too. This is the biggest, the biggest easy press they have. I don't know. Just give it a little more for good measure. I don't, I can't remember what exact the size is, but I'll, I'll look it up and I'll post it below. So I need a little more pressure on these ends, but you can see in the that was so hot. That was so stupid. Um, I need to get these ends a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab my easy press. Now I'm just going to put it on kind of like the right path. Give it pressure so that Y gets nice and pressed. All right. And now I'm going to do the same to the left. So like I said, you could do this with an iron, you could do this with a smaller easy press. Definitely don't need the biggest one. Joe got this for me for Christmas, not this last year, but 2018, I think. All right. All right, so if this carrier sheet moves, like comes off relatively easily, we're good to go. And also, if you can see like the fibers through the HTV of the fabric, you know it's pressed. All right. So this is ready to wear. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about how to care for this. How long does it last? La la la. So first of all, um, if you... You can definitely wash this in the washing machine. Obviously, I wouldn't wash it, wash it right after you've pressed it. Um, but you can definitely wash this in the washing machine. I just like to turn them inside out, but I've left plenty not turned inside out, and they've lasted just perfectly fine. Um, just, you know, wash it on cold and then a low tumble dry. But um, I'll go grab one of my sweat sweats, sweatshirts that I have washed frequently and I'll show you how it's hold up, held up. Okay, so this is the one that I made in uh, one of my first sweatshirt videos. So you can see that, you know, everything, I've washed this so many times and have not, it's all wrinkled right now because it's in the laundry, but I have some of them, I have some of the times, <sighs> cannot speak. Some of the times I haven't even turned it inside out and I've had no peeling whatsoever. So, so you could see. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like on. So cute. I do wish I did this a little bit higher up, but no big deal. This is just for me to like wear around the house. So that's it. Last pretty well. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it feels so good to be back in crafting. Leave me a comment if you like it. If you have any ideas of other videos, let me know. And with that being said, happy crafting.